YouTube RJ. Hey, got a bunch of comments, great comments on the R10 shortwave little receiver that we built that uh, I tested out. It didn't work too well. A lot of comments, a lot of suggestions. People thought that I was doing some things that were causing these problems. So, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, I always promised we'd be kind of like Mythbusters. You know, we'd look into this stuff. So I took your comment serious and I thought, well, let's go back. And even though I've played with this quite a bit, let's go back and take a look at some of this. So one thing that popped out was one commenter for me that I was using an antenna that was way too much antenna for this receiver. I was overpowering the receiver, causing these problems. So I thought, okay, I will go back to the piece of wire that I started with, which is exactly what the manual tells you to do. It's a three, they want you to cut a three meter wire. And that's exactly what I've done. And you probably can see it here and I'll get you a better view in just a minute. We'll go over what we're doing. What I'm gonna do is I've hooked that up. We're gonna try that. We're gonna see how that works. The other thing was people thought I was tuning, a couple comments about people thinking I was tuning in between stations. They weren't understanding that too many stations mixing together that I was trying to get off a center frequency. I could hear better in those frequencies. Actually, when you went dead on the five kilohertz step of that station, uh, you couldn't even understand what they were saying. It was so bad. So. Uh, we'll make sure that I'm not doing that. So now that we've got our three meter wire hooked up, we're not overpowering it with too much antenna. Well, let's give it another try. So let me spin around and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are back, set up with our speakers the same. This time the big difference is you'll see I've made up a wire and I will trace that wire up. And what I've done is I've run it up to the curtain rod, run across and taped it to get it. That's the best I can do in here. And uh, let's, let's see if, how we make out with that, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do to take a look at this is I'm gonna go ahead and do a scan. And just so you don't think there's any kind of iffy things going on, let me show you in the menus. C2 is set to 10. Now, why does that matter? Because C2 controls at what level it will stop a scan. The higher the number, the stronger the station needs to be before it will stop when it's scanning. Basically think of it kind of as a squelch. The normal default setting is 15. I have turned it down to make it stop at weaker stations. And even with it turned down, here's what happens. And away we go. Okay, let's see what we got there. But it is the hardest we are getting a little something. Yet. Because they come into the church and people are told. Let's keep going. Getting a little something there. Not very clear, but we are getting some. Getting some kind of little bit of data there. So it's not that it's not picking anything up. Of course, we know it was picking up stuff. It just, they had to be very strong. There's something at 5850. <laughs> Okay, going on. Heaven and in thy sight, it had no more word than to be called thy son. But the father said to his servant, bring forth the best robe and choose honest people. Not too bad. Drifting in and out a little bit on that one. Now that's going to be the Cuba station that we were looking at before. Not real clear, kind of going in and out. And that station is very, very strong. So I would say the smaller antenna is better. At least you can understand things better. But only the strongest stations come through.
And it doesn't seem to trap them good. It drifts in and out. You can hear this. Okay, now we're back to 11, 9.30. Why is this important? Well, I'm doing, make sure you see, I'm doing nothing. My hands are out here. I'm going to change frequency. Okay, so I, th I think you can hear it's not very clear, it's having trouble. I think it's over being the front end is being overloaded because there's it's just a poor design. Let's take a look at my ham radio for just a second. This is the same station. It's almost pegging my signal meter out. Anyway, that's where we're at. I mean, this design is just not a poor design. They use a ceramic resonator as your filter, not a crystal filter. There's inherent issues there. There's a lot of design choices here for cheap and easy um, that just it does not lead to a good receiver. And and I've if you look through suggestions, you already see one or two people commenting they've built these and had the same kind of kind of reaction over them. So they're just not great receivers. So so far, not one person that I've heard from, whether it's comments, emails, online, I've not had one person that's built one of these that thought it was a great receiver. So hey, thanks for tuning in to catch this little follow-up. Hope to see you in the next video.